Hello fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with my weekly bitch, my back issue comic haul, as well as a uh, uh, prize that I received. Uh, I won uh, Don the Comic Book Junkies uh, contest. Uh, I believe it was his 50 sub contest. And the books made it, so very, very happy. Thank you, Don. I really appreciate that. You really sent some killer books. Uh, you're just an asset to the community, and I thank you for being part of it, putting on the contest. And I especially thank your wife for choosing me as a winner. So let's get going here. I do have quite a bit to, to, to go over. So, all right, here's what I ended up getting from Don. I got Empire of the Dead, number one. Deathlock, number one. Number two. Number three. Beautiful Doom cover there. Number four. Number five. Number six. Punisher cover. Seven. Eight nine with ghost rider 10 again with ghost rider all right this uh got low number two number one the remender uh series it's out with image um sent me the second and third prints of new mutants 100 which i know i'm missing one of these so that's really cool thank you for that don love these phantom variants if you see the phantom variant right there this is for zero um and so very happy to add that to my phantom variant collection um this book is i believe is a golden age book i don't know a lot about it maybe you can enlighten me a little bit more but it's major in a pack the space ace beautiful looking book there number one i think this is like an advertisement or something for a chocolate drink from what i could gather and then this last series of books I'm, I'm pretty sure you maybe had to go out and buy another set of these because I, I don't think you have any doubles of them, uh, which would be Outcast number one, number two, number three, and number four. Couldn't resist that. If anybody's been watching Don, you know he's probably got about 20 copies of each of these. He, If you think I have a lot of doubles, look at his collection. Holy cow. It's amazing stuff. So thank you again, Don. I appreciate that. All right, let's move on to the obligatory TV, new, uh, movie, hot book, rumors, blah, 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 blah. All right, first one, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you don't want to listen, don't uh, maybe fast forward for a minute. Is uh, If you watch the season finale of S.H.I.E.L.D., it was revealed that Sky and Rena are both um, uh, Inhumans. And so they were subjected to the Terrigen Mist. And it turns out that Sky's real name is Daisy Johnson, who first appears in this book right here, Secret War Number 2. And there is a second print of this. It's a white cover that has a substantially lower print run. Um, and she later turns into Quake. Now, this book was a dollar book, quarter book, just in recently and then when this happened it's now a ten dollar twenty dollar book i would wait 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 this is going to be another ten or another dollar two dollar book very very shortly but if you want it go for it speaking of that if you watch the very end of it there was a gentleman who had no eyes at the end on the phone and they're speculating no they have not confirmed it but they're speculating that that was this gentleman right here the reader who first appears in this book here inhuman four all right so now if you're in uh, if you're talking about inhuman i might suggest adding this onto your list too if you're out there picking them up and you can find them uh dirt cheap this is inhuman eight it's the first mention or appearance of the codex and from what i can gather that's going to start playing an integral part with the inhuman storyline so you might want to pick it up all right another thing that happened was sony got their emails hacked and i think it had to do with something about that movie they're releasing the interview with rogan and uh that other guy but anyway probably the most interesting part of that was for us as comic collectors had to do with the spider-man and a couple things that were intriguing was one they're not going with the same actor they're going with a different actor for spider-man and the second one this has not been substantiated it is still very speculative but if it happens i think it would be awesome is that the storyline is going to focus around this like craven's last hunt 
which starts in Web of Spider-Man 31. This is one of my favorite covers of any of the Spider-Man books. And it goes through some spectacular and amazing. So if you've been holding off on this series, uh, or if you, you know, you or if you, there's one or two that's missing out of that run, I might suggest picking them up now rather than later. All right, another interesting little thing was if you're familiar with Collider and FBP, that whole name change thing, lo and behold, Tooth and Claw had the same thing happen to it where they were forced to name their change their name. Now it's Autumn Land Tooth and Claw, I believe it is. So uh, look for these. This is going to be my guess is maybe the more sought after. I don't know. It's just my guess. A couple of little fun little things. I stumbled upon this on a recent posting on one of the sites I look at. Is This is Marvel Team Up Annual Number 4. The Annual Number 4. And the reason I thought this was interesting was if you look, you have Power Man, Iron Fist, and Daredevil, which lo and behold are going to be um, a big chunk of the Defenders, which is the new Netflix series coming out, and Daredevil is going to be in there, and you know it's and not only that, but the Jessica Jones one I, is if you're familiar with that that character, and if you read the Alias, you know that Purple Man played a huge part of her backstory. And um, it's really interesting um, if you, and uh, this has Purple Man in it. So you would hope that if they're going to stay somewhat true to Jessica's comic history, they would include the Purple Man. So this is not an expensive book. And if you can find it, I would suggest picking it up. Marvel Team Up Annual Number 4. Then this last book here I read on another website. This is Batman 702. What I think makes this book kind of interesting um is believe it or not, this is the first time Dark Side appears in either Batman or Detective Comics. This can think about that. It took forty years for Dark Side to make an appearance in Batman or Detective Comics, and it first happens in Batman seven oh two. Interesting, fun thing. So speaking of that, we're gonna do the first part of my undervalued books. And that would be this book right here. It would be Brave and the Bull, 159. And the reason I'm going to spotlight this book is a couple of things. One, it's a nice Bronze Age uh, Jim Aparo. And Brave and the Bull is kind of still under the radar as far. I mean, there's a few of them, 79 and 85, I think it is, or 83, the, the Green Arrow one, that are pretty sought after. But getting back to this, this is the... Um, what makes this interesting is that this is the 14th appearance overall of Roz or Rachel Ghoul. Now, that in itself doesn't sound all that interesting. However, if you look at the first 20 appearances of Roz or Rach, this issue by far is the cheapest out of the first 20 appearances of Roz or Rach. It's not only that, it's the first time that he appears outside of Batman or Detective books. And it also has Talia Al Ghul in it, too. So a lot of good little things there that I would suggest maybe trying to put this into your collection. All right, getting on to the books themselves. Uh, if you watched, I've been working on my 15-cent a book pickup. I bought, like, two long boxes of books. Uh, it cost me $65. So, And I showed you my DCs. Now I'm going to work on Marvel and... Uh, Marvel and the Independence. Let's see if I can get through these. So we're going to do these kind of quick. Picked up a couple more red lines. I like these red lines, which is these books right here. And uh, there's Cable and X Factor. And what there's the standard version, which has the holographic. And then there's a red line, which is a little harder to find in the States. Um, but if you can find them, I, I just like to have both of them. Uh, Avengers 503, the uh, Bendis stuff. This book here is worth a couple, three, four, five bucks. I mean, it's it's kind of sought after. So I'd suggest if you can find those dirt cheap, maybe snatch them up. Saw this, uh, Avengers uh, Origins, The Vision. It's a one-shot. I just thought, ah, eh, you know, with the uh, new Avengers movie, why not? It looked interesting. Uh, found another copy of Captain America 360 with uh, first appearance of Crossbones. And now it is confirmed that Crossbones is going to be the major uh, villain in the new Captain America movie, not just a cameo or a little snippet like last time. 
Not only that, but I was reading that Winter Soldier is going to play a huge part in this movie as well. So, all right. This book here is Captain America White. It's This is interesting. This is done by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. This is the, the same combo of people that gave us uh, the long Halloween, uh, the... Um, uh, Week in Rome, uh, Spider-Man Blue, I think it was, uh, Hulk Gray. And this was supposed to be a series also, a mini-series. However, only one issue that I know of ever was released for it, and that's zero. All right, Captain America 16, the first Phi Lavelle. All right, Chamber of Chills, number 14. Just thought it was a cool Bronze Age book. Dazzler, number 5. There you go, Tony. This is the first appearance of the Blue Shield. All right, let's keep it going here. All right, Death of Wolverine, three and four for 15 cents each. That's a double, so if anybody needs one, let me know. Uh, the Fantastic Four Rose, the Fred Hembick book from 1982. Just a fun, fun book to have in your collection. This is the, I love these toy biz and these reprint books. This is the Ghost Rider number two out of the second series. Uh, Marvel Legends and toy biz is uh this book here is very interesting. G.I. Joe in 3D. This was, I think, 8 or 12 issues in this series. Blackthorn. They also did Star Wars and a couple other ones in 3D. These books are not cheap. And if you can find them, I'd suggest picking them up. Uh, Man Thing number 1 out of a second series. Just always love that cover, and it's a newsstand. This one. How about this? The Punisher... Uh, the SK Energy Drink variant, uh, 1 in 25 for 15 cents. Rise of Apocalypse, number 4. I always like this cover, The Secret Avengers, number 20. So I picked that up. It's a double. All right, moving along here. All right, Savage She-Hulk, number 27. The reason I picked these up is... If you look at the UPCs right here, this is the blank version, and this is the, um, uh, oh, my God, I'm sorry, I'm brain farting there. But this book here, I tried to do some research on the blank UPC. I didn't find a lot of information on it, but I did find on Comic Vine or Comic, one of the, the websites, this book here, they call it a variant, and they book it at $20. So I thought that was kind of interesting, so I was kind of glad I found those. Uh, picked up some Silver Sable stuff, number 18 and 19 with Venom. Picked up number 23, which of all the books, this is the money book out of that series. This is a $10 book. Kind of hard to find. If you can find it, it's just got a cool cover on it. It's got Daredevil on it, too. And this is about a $5 book, $6 book. This is number 30 with their, uh, Deadpool in it also. So, Two Deadpool books right here uh, that I would suggest, 23 and 30. I know Bill, BMPRT, I believe, showed that. Um, Sunfire and the Big Hero 6, number 2 and 3. I did find number 1. Oh, here it is right here. I had it on my price pack. So these three books I found for $0.15 cents each. <laughs> um, and uh, I can't believe that people are paying, you know, the money that people are asking for. But I guess it's... Uh, Wolverine number 82 with Deadpool on the cover. This book is pretty cool. This is from 1994. It's the Dark Book by Wizard. It highlights a lot of the Marvel um, villains in that era. And it has a really cool poster in here too. So I uh, thought that was cool for 15 cents. This book here, Bill also showed it in his recent video. These are amazing heroes. And this is uh, a few of them that I pulled. This is number 27. It's the special Batman issue. This one is a Kevin Nolan yeah, yeah, cover with Supergirl on it. Very cool. This one here is a Klaus Johnson, Johnson Pan Punisher cover. Really beautiful on that one. And then this one here, look at this Kirby cover, huh? You got Dark Side. You've got Mr. Miracle. You've got uh, the... Um, uh, Captain Victory, uh, Captain America, on and on and on. Um, and uh, very, very cool. Oh, you know, one thing, too, I did want to talk about, too, was the upcoming. Has anybody looked at the, you know, DC has been doing these cover variants. Uh, you got the bombshell and the photo bombs, or not the photo bombs, but the selfies. And 
uh, Darwin Cook. In March, they're doing the movie uh, swipes. And, man, they're doing some killer ones. Man, I love those if you haven't seen them. Just Google DC movie variants. But you've got Purple Rain. You've got Westworld. You've got Enter the Dragon. You've got Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Wizard of Oz. Just really, really, really cool cover swipes. I'm going to get a bunch of those. Um, found this one for 15 cents. From Hell, number four. Uh, Queen and Country. I think this is volume one. Uh, it's either volume one or two. Number one, number two, number three. And number four, happy to find that. Painkiller Jane in the Darkness. The only reason I picked it up, Garth Ennis, Amanda Connor, Jimmy Pomiati. Pretty cool combo there. All right, C23 Planetary Preview. Uh, this is Wormwood, The Last Battle. But this is the Chicago preview that was limited to 1,500. This is very cool. If you have not seen... Uh, Holler Mouse's video on the explanation of the crisis on infinite Earths. Shame on you. It is just excellent. I would highly suggest getting to uh, watch that right away. Uh, that is probably the seminal series in all of DC as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, uh, and this kind of goes over some of the, the, the ramp up and the, why the need of that this even was, was what what uh, perpetuated the need for the series to begin with. Um, and it also goes over brief synopsis of each of the issue. Really, really cool. So, And now speaking of that, that Secret War with the first Daisy, another thing that I thought was interesting is I read that that was probably the lowest print run of any of the Marvel crossovers. I guess number one had like 88,000 is all. That sounds like a lot, but for a Marvel crossover, it really isn't. So, All right, found... Caliber Comics 1996 convention book. Here we go. Black Belt Hamsters, number one. Here you go, uh, Francis. I think it was you who was kind of scoping these out. And the 3D of Black Belt Hamsters. Found another Archer and Armstrong Zero. It's not the per pink. Wish it was. I don't know what the deal is, if this is still going to be a movie. I know they fast-tracked it, but I don't know what's happening with that. All right. Alter Ego, number one. Found a couple of Michael Turner covers. This is the Worlds of, Worlds of Aspen. Uh, I think it's a free preview. Um, beautiful Michael Turner cover. And Soulfire number two. All right. Deity, the darkness and the light. The only reason I picked it up is it, it's a Atomic Comics guaranteed exclusive. I don't know what the hell that means, but I found a Shadowhawk Saga, the ash can that was included in the Hero. Uh, uh, price guides back in the 90s. This is kind of cool. Smiley, the psycho, the psychotic button movie special. <laughs> Bootleg edition. Thought that was kind of cool for 15 cents. I grabbed it. Here's another Ash can. I was very happy to find. Warrior number one. One of probably my favorite wrestler of all time is the Ultimate Warrior. And then I also found this for 15 cents. Warrior number one that just happens to be signed by the Warrior. Thought that was pretty cool. Santa Claus, 1954. Here's my ho 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 spirit for you guys. Uh, 1954, Santa Claus beat to hell, but for 15 cents, I thought, what the heck? Uh, Wizard Zero, Wild Thing. This is a cover swipe to Hulk 181 with Hulk, Wolverine being one dingo and uh, X20 or what the heck? Uh, oh my God. Uh, well, Wild Thing, obviously, is the uh, Wolverine. So I thought that was really cool. Look at this. 15 cents, Manifest Destiny, first print, number one. <laughs> 15 cents. going to repeat that again. 15 cents, Manifest Destiny, first print, number one. I also found this. I thought this was kind of cool. Shy, uh, she Sideblade, the first Witchblade. Or, uh, or no, uh, She Sideblade, excuse me. Number one, uh, and right there, number three. There's three different versions of that, so I did end up scooping up those. All right, moving on. Some Linsner love here. Um, I know Scott X and Ira, you guys love Linsner, so I, and I do too. I think he's really underappreciated. Here's uh, three tiers. Number one, 
Pax Romana, number one, for 15 cents. Another hot book at one point. Shaolin Cowboy, number three, for 15 cents. These books are not easy to find in the wild, and if you do and people know what they are, they might ask like 5 to $10 for those things. Sight Unseen, Avatar. This is by Warren, with Warren Ellis, Garth Enos, uh, Alan Moore, and Stephen Grant. It's the free comic book day of Avatar graphic novel sampler. Uh, this should have been the DC, but uh, Why the Last Man for uh, number 48 for 15 cents. Uh, this is the uh, premium version of Rip Claw Half, Rising Stars Half, and Fire from Heaven, all halves. Uh, free comic book day, Leave it to Chance, pretty popular series. Uh, Charlton, number 42, Ghostly Haunts, nothing spectacular, but it's a Charlton for 15 cents. Reed Fleming, the World's Toughest Milkman, Volume 2, Number 1, 2, and 3, all first prints. Thought that was kind of cool. And wrapping it up, I'm going to do my second uh, underappreciated or undervalued book. He's out of the way here. And it's also going to be the last book that I show you out of my 15 cents. And that was this one right here. And this forms the trifecta for me of the um, uh, variants of this. This is Dark Horse Presents number one. This is the commemorative edition. Uh, this is the very first Dark Horse Presents. It's an, it was an anthology series that ran for 150 series. Great stuff. It, it was the first appearance of Aliens, Aliens vs. Predators. Uh, Magnola was in there. Um, the... the um, Sin City, uh, second appearance of Sin City was in that, on and on and on. But before any of that ever happened, this was a company that was struggling and trying to find that one character that would help give it some credence and some street cred. And they created a character called Concrete, who made his first appearance in this book right here. So this is the very first appearance of uh, Concrete. It's the first uh, Dark Horse uh, Presents. So, and it helped really solidify uh, Dark Horse to help uh, with Star Wars and Hellboy and everything else. And now, here is the other two versions of it. This is the commemorative. This is one it version, and this is the other version. I'm trying to do it this way here. Now, this is the money version that you want. This is where you see the number one right here. I hope you can see that. And then you have just number one right there. You want the one with the smaller one in the number, the dollars under it. So, but this is it. And I just want to say, you know, once again, just a reminder that my contest is going to be uh, ending on the 28th of December. So about two weeks, a little less than two weeks. So had some fantastic submissions so far. Man, have they been just awesome. Every one of them. I can't believe the insight and the opinions. Are, that you guys have it's just unbelievable you guys teach me so much every single time that that i watch your guys's videos and um so yeah and i would sure love to see some more i wish i could somehow do like a collage or whatever of all of these and send them to marvel dc and image and let them know what we as collectors uh, are, are thinking of them so but anyways i'm getting off the the beaten track here so Thank you so much for watching. This is Vin Cruz signing off. Thank you.